and welcome back to Just for Fun. We're here for another match with our Cycling Song deck and Pauper. Would we like to play first? Let's play first. Gah. Okay, we're definitely mulling that. Had some unusually, oh, unusually bad hands for you guys here. Shuffler is not my friend lately. Okay. And we're going to fetch a forest here so opponent doesn't know what we're up to quite yet. But we do have a couple. We have some good draw spells here to get us out of this hole. And we'll see what we're up against. I mean... Oh, again, like I said in the last video, in case you didn't watch, it's a very um, high chance to be playing against the, the you know, Pier 1 constructed deck and Pauper even in the Just for Fun room. Okay, Pond. Turn 1 Island Ponder means we're playing against Delver, which is the top deck in the format. Um, unless he's playing, uh, he could also be playing um, Eye Candy, which is, you know, Nivix, Cyclops, and Kiln Fiend um, combo deck, but, you know, Likely we're looking at Delver here, which is, you know, not a fair fight by any means, but we'll do our do our best. You know, because there's not enough people playing, so people will play that deck just to just to have something to play against. They, you know, uh, okay. So we drove half of our combo already. And let's see what we do here. Okay. Crypt Rats is ridiculous against them, especially if I have enough people enough uh, dudes in my bin to, um, to songs first. If songs resolves, I can uh, fight through their counter magic most likely and crypt rats them because they're, they don't play a very powerful dude. So, um, let's cycle architects here. Okay. And we got another one cycle next turn. That's the thing with eight, you know, 18, cycling guys, sometimes you can get lucky and go bang, 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 go through a bunch. Okay, he's not playing anything, so that leads me to think Spell Stutter Sprite, which, uh, or counter, you know, regular counter spell. Um, so I'm just going to cycle here instead of salvaging. Okay, we drew a second, so we have two songs in hand. This is, this is going pretty decently for us. Uh, Pass the turn. <coughs> See what our opponent it does force them to do something here. The the longer we're not on a clock, the better. Okay, red red blue land makes me think uh, we're on uh, kiln fiend. Let's sell it. See if he counters it. I mean, if he does, whatever. Okay, it could just be like a red-blue control, like counter-burn kind of deck is a thing, too. Or Delver could be just splashing red for Lightning Bolt or something. Let's see what he does here, Seagate Oracle. Okay, so this is kind of like a control deck. Not really worried about any kind of clock that... <laughs> That doesn't really present a clock yet, so I'm not terribly worried. I mean, if you were if you were doubting Pauper as a format, look at the cards my opponent has cast this start this game. Ponder counter spell priority. I mean, this is a pretty po uh, powerful bunch of cards here. Which, you know, this is thinking, having me think he has Treasure Cruise, which is just an abusive card in this format. I'm just going to grab a second Swamp here. I think that's valuable than another colored land right now. Cast Fume Spitter. Cast Turner. We only have three guys in our bin, so we can't go too crazy with these songs just yet, but... Um, you know, that could add up pretty quickly. Especially if he taps out again for something, you know, we can go a little crazy. I'm going to take this for now. I could just totally nerf his dude, but, you know, if he ends up sticking a dollar or something, I'm going to regret that. So let's see what he plays here. 
Okay, okay. Cycle her carabid. Okay, cycle this or a dragger. Okay, we get another fume spitter. Very nice. Um, not gonna bother attacking because I might I might block him and attack it this turn just to get another guy in the yard. Cause we're getting pretty close to um, that that life gain is annoying me though. Um, getting pretty close to where we can do something cool. And I have another fume spitter here anyway. Okay, let's block. Press OK. And sack. Nerf your dude. So you won't be picking at me anymore. Okay, play another fume spitter. He counters that what ifs. Street Wraith. Swamp. Uh, I don't want to play Crypt Rats into six, <laughs> six cards and five open blue mana. I think that's a mistake. Um, so we're just going to wait on that. What we need here is Gnaw. Gnaw and we, we basically like just win. Okay, he's bolting my fume spitter. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Good job, dude. That's fine. Really, that do you look I look like I care about that. Um, yeah, so this is definitely some kind of counter burn control deck or maybe a port of blue red delver as opposed to mono blue delver which was the popular plan before okay he's cruising so maybe this is the next evolution of, of um, delver and pauper i mean i haven't updated my delver deck since uh cons i mean these cards are incredibly powerful i mean the the guild gates were already enough and then to add life gain on top of them is just bonkers. Um, okay, okay, let's cycle him. So this is a game where we're actually looking like we're getting dudes in the yard here. Okay, so Gnaw is good. Um, since I have two Crypt Rats, I'm going to run one out. It's, I mean, it's very likely to get countered. But I don't see that getting, situation getting any better. He's got so many lands and so many cards in hand. So, you know, he might not care. He might be like, okay, it's a three mana, one, one, fine. And what am I going to do with less life and only three swamps? Right? Yep. All right. He didn't care. Or he could end up just bolting it, which would, you know, it's a thing. Okay, so he just killed it. Um, all right, so this other one, you know, we're better off doing it when we can song first so we can fight soft counters and all that. So next turn, I think I'm just going to run out Gnaw. To give him something to to fight me over and then maybe go song song script rats. How many guys do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So twenty two. So not quite lethal yet. Maybe we want to get one more guy in the yard. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's wait and we'll get one more guy in the yard. Again, not under tremendous amounts of pressure, so. Probably has Mole Drifters, which I'm surprised he hasn't cast yet. I mean, that, that card would be really good in his deck. Maybe the 
burn is his clock, I guess. I mean, yeah, it is right. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. He's just drawing all the cards. I mean, it's a good deck, it, it works. It's, I, I like his deck, it's very smart, but um, definitely more of a constructed deck than a just for fun deck. It's not fun, it's it's all value cards, you know. Resolve, okay, we're at 34 life. Um, another guy in the yard. Okay. Um... You know, if I blow my blow our songs and he counters the Crypt Wrath, we can't win. You know, so you know we're in a position where we can just wait. So let's just wait. I mean, I doubt he's going to tap out with that many lands unless he's like uh, casting Rolling Thunder or something. He's playing a lot of lands, and he's hit like. Seriously hit like a lot of land drops here. <coughs> Flashback or no just because. Okay, 55 life, so really zero uh, chance of do, 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 do at this point. Of our mountain. Now at this point, I mean, maybe I just cast guys I draw. Because if he, you know, we can bait some counters out of his hand, and if he lets them resolve, we just race. Uh, not like he's got anything powerful out there. Okay, Delver, fine. So this is a ported blue-red Delver deck, which is smart. I mean, very smart. That's the most powerful deck out there right now. You know, you can pick that deck into, like, a modern... Well, not mod I mean, there's some cards that are not modern legal, maybe, but in uh, Legacy or something, and, and not do horribly, not be embarrassed, you know? Uh, especially considering it's all, it's all um, all right, it's just he has so many cards, oh my god, you're going to treasure, you have six cards in your hand, what do you possibly have in your hand that you need to draw more cards? That's just greedy, son. I mean, I guess it, pro it probably feels silly to, like, bolt my face when I'm at 52 life. So, let's start a land. Yeah, sure, that seems reasonable. Okay, now we got something to do. Um, question is, what do we get back? Deadshot, yeah. He's got to counter that. So, let's get deeper. I mean, <coughs> he should definitely, there's no reason he shouldn't counter this. It would be crazy if it It's still, he still has seven cards in hand and six mana open. I mean, it's like trying to bait out enough of a, you know, enough counter spells and mana usage here that I can just go crazy. You know, I, I'm I'm very tempted to just go for it here. I know it's foolish, uh, and I should just keep waiting because I'm under no re there's no reason. But I'm losing my patience, and I just kind of want to like go for it. Um, so. Um, you guys, this is the point where it goes wrong, because I know he's he's got to have another counter spell, right? I mean, I shouldn't do that, right? Could I, should I just try Crypt Rats and see if it resolves? Um, just try it by itself without songs in first. Yeah, let's do that because that plays around mana leak still. So we gotta have another hard counter. 
Let's try it. Let's try it that way. Okay. Um, yeah, but he, he definitely counters the songs if he sees me cast that at this point. So maybe I wait for him to try to try to bolt my guy. Oh, if I had two swamps open. Oh. Then I could songs and then songs again. Oh, 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 he let that go through. You're kidding. You're kidding. <laughs> okay. And now we one shot our opponent. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Stifle's not in power. How? I guess he didn't have another counter spell. Wow. All right, guys. All right. I'm proud. Woo! <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. That was great. Finally, and against a pretty serious deck here. Like, I guarantee he has some kind of really good cyborg. Maybe it's like Relic of Progenitus. Or, you know, I'm totally... I don't know. I don't think we can repeat that, but... I told you this deck is good. Like, um, and now we got a good hand, too. Uh, so let's... Uh, now that he knows my plan, I'm probably just going to cycle this Street Wraith right here. He must have had no idea what I was doing. Or not had a lot of experience playing against Crypt Rats or something. Okay. Evolving Wilds doing work. This is a four-color deck, by the way. You know, mostly... <laughs> You know, like other than evolving wild, it's all basic land. So don't, you know, don't let anybody tell you you can only play monocolored and pauper. That's just ridiculous. The fixing is there. Uh, Tron. We'll definitely try to play some games with Tron at some point. I'm kind of just going alphabetically here and playing uh, my brews first. That's my plan. You know, so it's stuff you guys might not have seen already. Uh, but yeah, there's there's definitely. I mean, I have more than one five color deck. Uh, so it's definitely possible to play five colors in Pauper. The fixing is there for that. Okay, um, do we run out Fume Spitter to get around a, a counter? Yeah, why not? Opponent doesn't have red yet, so... You just bolt it or whatever, that's fine. Okay, or a line. That's a thing. All we want to do here again is just start filling the yard with dudes. It's always tempting to like hold on to something like this, especially when you're playing against Delver. But the odds are so high that they counter it anyway that really it's not a big loss to just cycle it. Air through the deck. And pick up things like that that actually matter. Uh, okay, let's. Let's toss that. And yeah, that I could cast again next turn, but whatever. Whatever the F ever. <laughs> I want to do this in the yard here. We're already up to three, and Fume Spitter is only a click away. And, you know, I guess I could save him to kill something, but, you know, it just saves me so much life to prevent this stuff, you know. I don't need to block and then sack with this guy, so I'm just going to just sack him. And then, uh, end of my opponent's turn, I'm going to Grizzly Salvage. We're good on lands. So, I 
think I just grabbed dead shot here. I mean, we want dudes in our yard, but I also want to want, 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 want to just cam. I mean, again, odds are very high. He has a counter spell, so maybe I just uh, run out Crypt Rats here while while he doesn't have two blue up to keep the threat of activation real. <laughs> You know, in case you play, maybe this will prevent them from playing a mole drifter or something. Crack in for one with your with your oracle. That's fine. And that card's good. It's really good. It's just it's disappointing at times. Yeah. See, he kept his all four blue open because he knew I have this in my hand. So it's gonna just be like that. So I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to go for for that kind of kill again. Okay, how many guys do I have in my yard? Uh, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, not enough to kill him, or, well, enough to kill myself. <laughs> uh, I can just fire one of these off and crypt threat now. I think I just... Do I rats for two? Do I bother? Yeah, because we get that back from Gnaw, so it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, Firebolt's an insane card. Um, I would definitely be playing that in a lot of my decks if it wasn't it's, I think it's like four tickets. It's some ridiculous price that I didn't want to play it. Um, could just try to run out carry it, uh, Carabid. But, uh, yeah, I think that that's going to be a failing measure. So let's just cycle it. Now we have three songs, so we can go completely berserk on mana. Um, could Grizzly Salvage here? I'm not going to. And, uh, you know, Noah is like, he doesn't want to counter it because he has to spend two counters on it, you know, because of the flashback. Plus he's got that uh, dissipate, I think. But that's an uncommon, I think. Yeah, so. I don't think that's a lover. Yeah, I'm fine with taking one here. Please just tap your mana, please. Okay. Okay, so, you, you know, you have one counter spell here, technically. So I can either salvage or gnaw at the end of the turn. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's tapping low. He thinks I can't, I don't have anything after that Crypt Rats, so. This is very, this could be very good for us. I think we salvage trying to hit Pig Keeper or Crypt Rats. Rather than gnawing and then on tap and gnaw, yeah, I think that's what we do. Salvage. Dispel. No, that spell. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. We got lucky anyway. Um, okay. OK, 
okay, now he's all tapped out. There's no force of will or pact of negation in Pauper here. So let's let's count it out here. I think this is game. Yeah, this is definitely. I'm not even going to count it. I know it's game. And this is our deck going off and blowing up, uh, <laughs> blowing up a uh, tier one deck for sure. Um, on turn seven here, you know, through all kinds of counter spells and disruption and and, and uh, fire bolts and, and removal and stuff. Bam! I think that that is going to end this. Uh, <laughs> My videos with this deck. I think the deck performed beautifully. It's a control deck. Um, you didn't see me go into mid range mode, but I could have. You saw me grind with the pit keepers. The deck does a lot of cool stuff. I think it's very fun. Um, please, I hope somebody likes it, uh, but I really enjoyed it. Please sound off in the comments. I'm very much looking forward to see what you guys have to say. Uh, thanks for watching. If you watch this far, I really appreciate it. All right.